pretty good. And see, the bear, um, I think actually animals heal when they're on those, um, their, their camps. Now, that's my theory anyway. We don't want to go in and poke the bear. It, it's a dangerous unit. Do you need I something, want to clear handsome? out this wolf then. Yeah, let's see you get some gold. And then I'm going to kind of, um, maybe run back home a bit. See if I can lure the bear over to shooting range for my city. Now you'll see my city has already expanded. Um, that, that's every five turns of, or every time it, it, every additional five population it gets, it grows again. This, the rate which you grow will gradually slow down because more and more of the food will be going towards um, feeding the city as opposed to growing the city. The other interesting thing about food is any kind of surplus, you see how it says 3.6 food converted to gold? You can get a ton of gold just by having a ton of food. So it's very, it, it works out quite well um, for, for humans that specialize in food, as, as well as if you get, um, like monsters especially. Monsters usually don't have to worry too much about gold because they're so strong with food production because you get special food buildings that they basically just make all their gold by selling the extra excess food. So that's something that came to mind. Now, if your cities are starving, you don't get that. That's just food that would otherwise be wasted. Basically, um, you know, the food that's needed for our army upkeep is eaten up. And all the extra um, goes to giving us extra gold. So that's pretty handy to have. Uh, this is our research. Research, uh, it'll climb up pretty quickly. There, there are actually some enchantments you can get for your cities that boost that. And I don't know. I, I've never felt behind on tech. It's the one thing in this game that I always feel either slightly ahead of, on, or I, I'm just not hurting that much. So, um, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe there is a reason for really wanting that. I'm not sure if there is or not. Um, we also have some mana here, and, well, yeah, obviously we're earning some, which is nice. So, we start off with a bit of gold, which is good because that lets us build more buildings before we have to worry about gold banking buildings. Um... So that's just kind of a really nice little boost. Not to mention, occasionally you'll get quests that ask for an obscene amount of gold. And having the 100 starter gold can let you get those before you're really meant to have enough gold to do them. And they can really pay off. There, there are a few that are like, well, if you give us 100 gold, then you get a wizard. Like, way before you'd be able to build a wizard. Like, it, it can really, really help. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, who, who needs order assignments? Um, okay, I'm actually going to attack him and finish him off. But I'm going to leave this guy. I might actually move him up here. Can I still... Yeah, I can still shoot him. This way I can finish that bear off, but I'll still be on a healing tile. And maybe this bear will be, be like an idiot and walk into the swamp and take a swing. If he does that, he won't have that defense and he'll be he'll get hurt pretty badly. So... There we go. This look like honestly, you'll start off with just like a whole bunch of ram animals and kind of like weaker units to deal with. You just kind of go around, and explore the map, try to find your portal, and that's how it goes. Now you see we unlocked a new unit. Um, the way we unlock that is you can just start building settlers once your um, city is minimum of five population. So there you go. Now, I'm gonna order that up. Um, you actually do, you can spam settlers, um, but you don't want to have too many cities. I'll show you how it works. You can essentially take a city that if you decide, eh, it's not really growing, it's not doing what I want to do, you can actually convert that into kind of a specialist city. And you lose some stuff when you do that, but you also gain, um, basically it removes any kind of unhappiness. So you can definitely coat the map with cities. It's just that only a few are going to be productive cities that can actually make a unit set, while the vast majority are just going to be kind of, kind of little starter cities or, or, or just like specialized in one thing, like producing, say, worship for your deities, or um, they can make uh, they can be like a city that makes gold and only gold, and you won't be able to select them and say order up a whole bunch of warriors and stuff. That will all be closed to you, but it's it's generally worth doing and. Um, uh, for multiple reasons. One of the main ones is, you see how all these little constructions have what look like basically roads going through them? Yeah, that helps movement speed. So, having peppering the smaller kind of free cities around 
It gives you like faster movement in your territory. I mean, it's it's basically free gold with no consequence. So I, I tend to encourage um, that in my play style and having just kind of a big, vast, sprawling city that covers the whole little uh, little world. So anyway, enough talk. Let's hit enter. <laughs> Okay, so congratulations! Here's, here's, you have successfully um, researched a new of, spell, uh, my lord. Little quests that they'll give you. Sometimes they give you quests that are like really involved. Other times they'll give you kind of short things. This is the short little one. So, a horde of rats are raging through your capital. They will eat all the food. Now, there's different things you can do. Um, this one is unavailable to us because um, we aren't monsters. I think monsters and maybe undead. I want to say it's just available to monsters, though. But it's kind of a cool thing. Like, yeah, you can take a food shortage. doesn't matter. Monsters have a ton of food. And you get a free rat unit, which are good early on, actually. They're, they're good scouts. Um, they're definitely better than the rogues. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, now, basically, we don't want to take this pleasure and food shortage. That, that This early in the game, that's going to shut us down and, and really hurt us. Um, like a surprising amount. Like that would delay us expanding by like 10 turns. We, we don't want that, especially this early on. So I'm going to just take a hit and some gold. Um, we'll get it back in five turns, no biggie. And it'll actually make our citizens happy, um, which is nice. Um, you definitely later, late game, you want to boost happiness as much as you can. Um, but early game, it, when you're like one or two cities, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the only way happiness gets to be a problem, really, is if um, you build too many cities. So, if you watch your city production, if you're careful about how many cities you're running, it, it's you don't have to worry about too much. Um, and this one, I don't want to do that one because magic is precious and we don't make much of it. So, I'm just going to go in and go for the gold one. So, I take a little bit of hit, I get some happiness. Hoorah! Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, we got our research complete. Excellent. So, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't need to cast any spells. I need to research. I'm gonna grab Fertile Lands. So, Fertile Lands is kind of cool. All, all the terrain in the, in the in this large hex gets turned into Fertile Land, which has a bonus to food. So, it's a good early spell to go for. I also like going for healing, because actually... It, it's a good way of keeping your units around. It, it can be quite uh, difficult, actually, early game to keep stuff alive. So it's something to keep in mind. And we, we unlocked another building. Now, I'm kind of... This is a bit of the, of the bait. There, there are a few things that are worth going for at this point. Uh, a harbor will be nice. I mean, it's, it's a general gold boost, especially when you have one city. Um, it's a pretty solid building. Farm, you see how it gives us plus three? But if you look at Granary, we get 50%. So, ideally, you would build two farms per city and then get Granary. And the gra like once you have two farms, a gran Granary is equivalent of four food. While farm, you can only get three food out of. But if you only have one, then the Granary is the suboptimal option because you, you get plus 50% of three, which is 1.5. So, I'm tempted to build another farm, grow, grow our capital a bit. I'm also tempted with the harbor, as well as the shrines are always, they're just a solid, solid uh, choice. Um, you see, it decreases unhappiness, it also increases like your, the love of your deity. So, um, if you want to have like a strong deity relationship, they're good to go for. Uh, Rogue's Guild is okay. There's no, not much in comp, like, I don't really think Rogues aren't good, cutthroats are, but honestly, I think there are better alternatives to rogues in general, so I only build these for gold. <laughs> I don't really build them for the, the rogues themselves. Um, Magic Tower, it's a good late game, bad early game. Don't go for an early game. It's, it's too expensive with mana and gold. Um, Elemental Magic is obviously a good thing to have, but early game, you want to devote your keep in mind you have a limited number of units you can build and you don't want to devote a unit uh, or a building slot to a magic tower when there are other more vital buildings smithy still a solid choice library why would i want to go and get the library because it's required for a wizard's guild it also speeds up your research which is okay um but unlocking wizards early would be a good thing especially if we want to do early expansion into um, our next world, which we do. 
So I'm tempted to really push for the Wizard's Guild at this point. You know, we can put like the library, say, here. Also, I like to kind of get a little bit, you know, think about it, like a library. Would that be out in the boonies, like near all the farmland? No, I'd be near the city and the mana traps and like wherever wizards like to hang out. So I think I'm going to put it here and kind of have that be sort of the center of culture for our city. Now, basically, as I want to queue up a bunch of peasant settlers. This is kind of how I get ahead early game is I'll build a bunch of kind of only dummy cities. And when I reach the maximum number of cities, I'll start to convert those dummy cities um, into like free towns. And free towns, they get they get a massive number of um, gold, so it's something you want. men! And they, there's no consequence of doing that. Uh, let's keep no shooting the Now, for you. the cool thing about uh, archers is they actually get they have a bonus. Let's see. I think. I think it's just like, if you look at, okay, let's click on these, well, let's do it. No, but but basically, bears are weak to, I believe, missile damage. Hunters! And these guys do missiles. So they're good at, um, you know, having an archer to early game is pretty good, because they'll wipe out all these beasts. And, uh, yeah. Anywho, moving on, moving on. Where, where is our road? I'm going to send our road kind of down this way. Right now, I'm just kind of using her to scout out um, the region. I, I want to see if I can find... Oh, that's a really good find. Oh, this is exciting. Now, yeah, she should be fine. She moves down here. I don't see any kind of, like, potential enemies. But we have a Hal Halberd Hall. The Halberd Hall is... It's almost like a, a merchant pavilion. But if you build a city next to it, which I'm definitely going to do, um, you want to walk Halberd... Halberd years, or whatever they're called... They're very solid um, early to mid game units. They, they can actually be very strong, especially later on when you start to get holy units, when you start to upgrade stuff. So finding a Halberd Hall, that's a huge find. That, that, that's going to be like our main army right there. Forget the warriors, we're getting Halberd or whatever they're called. Um, not to mention, like, this is also a solid start because you start next to some iron. And the more iron you get as human, the better, because human are really reliant on. Um, armor upgrades. And the way armor upgrades work is essentially... Attention! I know this is... Oh, I got a warrior too. I'm going to send the warrior north. Warriors are tough enough that they can actually take out these bears. And I want to kind of start clearing the land a bit. So hopefully we'll be able to get that bear to charge us and we'll be able to take them out the next turn. So the... Um, but yeah. Um, so the, how does... How does uh, how do you upgrade units? Basically... You go to say the smithy here and see how it says fine armor. Um, basically, you get these little perks, and if you have iron in an area, you can build iron mines, which they give you like a quality armor or whatever. And they give you, each mine unlocks, I believe, three upgrades. So you could upgrade three units off of one of these mines. You want to do that as often as possible. So you you want to have as many iron mines as you can, especially as human. Because human units, well, they're not weak. They're not like the, the elf units that are susceptible to like melee damage or some certain magics. And they're not like the undead units that have um, obvious weaknesses to say life magic. Um, you know, they're they're not weak in that regard, but they're not terribly strong. They're not as strong as say the goblins are. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of like jack of all trades, middle of the road units. So if you can get more upgrades. It really can help you out, especially like if you want want to say, um, uh -huh. if you want to keep your rogues alive, so you can do death magic. And death magic is strong against some things. Like if we come up against any trans or ants or whatever they call them, like tree people, death magic's quite good. So anyway, let's. Um, I'm gonna just. I should pay attention to the end turn button. I hit it more often. Um, I just you know I, I know I tend to get to talking about stuff, but. Well, Where shall we go? Upgrade. That's good. Um, let's see, and he got to level two, and that's just because he's been kind of plucking away at things. And uh, we can actually level him up now. The level up system is interesting. You basically you can pick from different perks. So what will we have here? Cover specialist, wide formation, and marksman. It's 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 interesting actually. Like what you go for first. I'm actually going to not choose just yet, and the reason why is 
when we get to our second world, when we open our first portal, based on whatever we get, it's going to kind of dictate which of these we go for. Because some worlds don't have much cover, so this wouldn't be all that useful. Some, some worlds have like a lot of missile units, so this would be useful. Some worlds do have a lot of cover. You know, you kind of have to think about it as you progress. And early on, every unit counts, and every unit you want to keep alive as long as possible, especially because they'll level up over time. So I'm just going to keep shooting at this guy and hopefully wear him down more and more. It'll take a while to take out that bear. Bears are strong, you know, they're, they're a tough opponent. Warriors! So, um, kind of want to send them out here, but I'm concerned that there might be another evil camp. Let's... Let's check this bear. He's already recovered. You see, they recover faster on their home camp. So, maybe I'll do something like that and then go back. Just to get some scouting done. Okay. I'm going to play a little bit carefully. Just because, um, you know, it's pretty easy to lose the units early on. Okay, hopefully that wolf will be gone. We haven't really gotten a good capture bonus yet, so I'm, I'm hopeful that we will. Uh, oh right, I'm, I'm skipping leveling up the unit because I want to I want to see what kind of world our second world is going to be, so. Okay, that's good. We kind of lured them out. Ooh, critical. That, that kind of hurt a bit. See, warriors are, they're just tougher. They're kind of like meant to be your, um, your, your front line like meat shield unit, so. I prefer them over the road. Oh, I, okay, that actually worked out because I didn't. I don't like cities to finish units off because you want all that experience and going towards actually your um, your dudes here. So um, can we? Can't quite kill him. I'm gonna run behind him and take out his base so he can't run back and heal up. Oh, that was a good one. Melee resistance. Very good. I'm going to slap that on some of my units um, right now. So this is an enchant. The way enchants work is they're persistent and they use up like one mana per enchant. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on our road. That will really increase their survivability. It's a very, very yeah. solid enchant. And rogues, like, if they get upgraded, if you get a lot of experience accumulated in your rogues, they can be monsters, so I, I don't mind that much at all. Um, let's see, so I'm going to walk her forward one and see how this fight would go down. It goes pretty well, um, probably because of that enchant, actually. Um, I'm tempted to do that, but I worry about the two wolves kind of being issues. Because if I can take down one, sure... But then, like, what if I get two crits in a row on her from both these wolves attacking? That might kill her. Mmm. It's risky. I'm going to do so. I, I want to speed up that operation a bit. You kind of have to rush a little bit in the beginning. Now, you see there, there is push in this game. Ah, uh, power stone. Power stones are good for, um... Uh... Well, actually, a pure power stone is really good. Some power stones, they have uh, disadvantages. Like, they'll... Essentially what this is, it's something that you slot into your spells to make them better. I, I know exactly which spell I'm going to put that on. It's um, one that we're going to lock fairly soon. It's actually one of the tags I don't normally go for first. So um, getting a pure one is really good this early in the game. Um, you want to save these up and use them properly. The Essentially, like you can pick spells to boost. Um, and there's some that have advantages, but also couple with disadvantages, and, and we'll go in into that as we get more and more. Also, got some gold. All right. Um, let's see what unit wants to level up. I'm I'm gonna wait on him, um, but see, unfortunately, it's gonna ask me that every time, which is a pain. But what can you do? Now, the more we damage this guy, you see how I'm doing more damage to him. It's because there's kind of like a stagger bonus going on. Essentially, the more damage your unit has taken, um, the the less able they are to defend. So that's that's something to keep in mind. Now, when we have our first settler, I kind of want to move them in a direction that they'll be safe. Um, which <laughs> there is no safety because bears. I mean, they got a decent amount of movement. Uh, they can probably run up and just swipe at this guy, and I can't 
move through this withering forest that well. Hmm. We might kind of make a little land grab and, and go down here. Kind of, I mean, I don't really want to build there because this is a city that I'm going to want to keep because I'm going to want to have that. And if you build on the edge of the map, you can't build there. It's chasm. It's useless. In fact, it'll harm flying units if you move there. Um, but I do want this city to be able to expand and get that iron. I'm probably going to do this. Now, if I was thinking for, like, what is best for the city's future... Um, well, this is tough because it's so close to Deepwood, and Deepwood's already expanded quite far. And unfortunately, like, you can run out of slots to expand and, and want to build a building and not be able to do it. Um, this is probably going to be our best bet because that gets us uh, some shoreline. So, uh, cities like this where you can't really, like, rely on being able to build a ton of different buildings... You want to specialize. You want to get one or two things to go after and nothing more. So, uh, for this one, I think I'm going to have this be kind of where... Maybe not where we're making our warriors. Um, maybe too many halberds. Actually, yeah, this, this might have like smithies and stuff going on. This might be kind of one devoted to the art of war. So, let's go ahead and enter because I'm still not ready to level up my unit not saving that. And we should be able to finish that there. Yeah, don't get two critical hits in a row. That'd be very bad. Okay. Yeah, I was afraid she'd get that. But the nice thing is I can actually move her onto this healing tile. And we'll give her a couple of turns of healing there. So these are really handy to have um, early game. They're good for farmland. They're good for... Um, like, if you have an injury, it's a way to save on casting healing spells, too. So, uh, I really like to see that within no uh, the radius escape for you. of my first civilization, or my first little starting area. So, I could finish him off of that, but I want the warrior to get the kill so he gets experience. Attack! It should be easy. He's, he's, he's nearly dead. He's going to do almost no damage. Huzzah. So, other than that, um, Settlers. hopefully there isn't, like, a little surprise surprise enemy hanging around out here. I'm also curious where where on earth the portal is. It, it's either going to be like down in here or maybe even out here. So we'll have to look for that. I, I think it's going to be over here though. Um, now when you approach portals for the first time, just going to hit enter, um, stuff happens. <laughs> It gets a little bit nuts, so... Married men! Alright, let's see if we can finish. Come on, shoot at it. Bears, they're just tough cookies, you know? It takes some time to take them out, but... Uh, we're, we're wearing them down. I'm gonna actually have her defend, or actually rest. This is the one I want to show off. So, you can only rest if around you... If one, you have full movement, you can't have moved, and you have no, um... You don't want to have any enemies directly adjacent to you. So resting's great, you know, doing that, it, it heals you up almost immediately. So it, it's, a, it's a handy thing to have. Yes. <laughs> the sellers have such kind of a, like, um, just, just her voice. It, it's really funny. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, that's, I, I was worried we might be a little too close to deep wood. Um... Maybe if we go here then, because now we're basically forced to build on an edge. And this edge has more around it than this edge. And we definitely want that Habern, um, the Halberd Hall that sooner rather than later. Now eventually, Deepwood is going to be kind of this massive city that takes over the map. If it grows big enough, I might convert this little city into something else. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see if we can build there. If we can't, we kind of wasted time moving out here. But, you know, I, I definitely I don't want to build there. Um, this is, is passable. This I can live with, but I, I don't really. Let's go ahead and rest up our, um, our warrior, too. I'm still looking for that portal. It's got to be somewhere in the fog over here. Because this, it could possibly be here, but I don't know. Normally, they, they don't put it on these little... It's just the way the, the map terrain regenerates. So. Also, have I mentioned how just cool the whole concept of having to build on these 
floating continents is. Look at the water just kind of flowing off the edge of the sea. It, some of the some of them look just look gorgeous, you know. It, it's like they did such a good job, and I'm surprised this, this to get more reclamation when it first came out from folks. Um, you've also built a settler, so we're kind of running out of desirable set, settlement space. But I'm going to continue to make settlers anyway. Um, because I, I'm going, to, I want to kind of fill the map up with just, just like um, kind of phony cities that are making gold or are shrines to a gorilla. So I'm going to start moving them in this direction because I definitely I want a big city here. It's going to have really good farmland, um, two iron, very good. So you know, overall a very just solid, solid beginning. I'm, I'm pleased to see that. And we gotta level up, but you do accrue experience just by kind of standing around. Uh, let's, let's see. So again, I kind of want to wait and see what our uh, starting area is like. I going to keep shooting and wearing him down. It's uh, I'm gonna let the road continue to rest. Um, since we we see more wolves spawn, it, it's kind of a the faster you can take out all the camps, the better, because you will eventually get overwhelmed by, like, eventually it starts throwing out just these really nasty, like, big bads, so, something came to mind. Um, you're resting. Let's see, can you found a city here? Oh, that's a shame. So, we're gonna have to wait on the Halberd Hall. And that's, that's a tra- I, I could possibly, like, scooch out here and do it. Um... That's a suboptimal city, though. I don't know if it'd be worth it for the Halbeard how how Deers. Well, what we'll do is I'll focus on growth at Deepwood and see if we can stretch our radius out. We're gonna have to grow to level 15, or, you know, a, a population of 15 in the city to reach the Halberd all. So this is gonna be something that we get later in the game, but unfortunately, like, yeah, I could build here and get the Halberds earlier. I don't know if it would really be worth it because this is a city that we want to keep. And I mean, if you build say here and it'll grow a little bit, but it'll never be a big, massive, useful city. So uh, that's that's a shame. Um, otherwise, like yeah, there really isn't much space for building on this map. Uh, here, here we go. Ooh, ooh, troll on the bridge. Um, Trolls are tough this early in the game. In order to defeat it, we would literally need our entire army around it. So I'm actually going to, what I want to do is shoo it off because that's good experience and it doesn't cost me mana or gold. And that's a lot of gold early game. So I'm just going to postpone. But that, that will kind of slow down our ability to spread there, unfortunately. Um, looking around, maybe we'll get a city here, get some extra upgrades going. So. Um, let's see, I'm gonna send him up this way. Cancel, why would I want to cancel the current task? Doesn't make sense, anyway. Um, so like, yeah, these two are still resting a bit. I'm gonna let them rest up the pole before I go out there and start tangling with those. I'm gonna start moving our warrior, though, um, out to, out to here, and I'll, I'll have him kind of set to defend like around the hills um just, just because like trolls are, are tough early game they and what will it they're cost quite you? strong <laughs> so oh you want you want to unlock a perk considering that we're going to have some trolls to beat up i either want to go this one or this or actually i might boost her damage because she has the melee already on her I don't know. It's it's a it's a tough call. This is in general pretty good, and I saw like she could like fortify and you know some cover, but either blade wall. I don't know. Like with rogues, it's hit or miss. Like I assume I'm gonna lose my first rogue at some point, so. Maybe giving her like a melee boost is the way to go. Cause that, that kind of like, her, her utility is that she is good at fighting and killing stuff. So 
Yeah, and that melee boost you can see here. I'm gonna attack this creature. Yeah, we can take it out with taking minimal damage because also when your units are damaged, they do less damage. So that's, you know, it's, it's a good idea to kind of pepper a unit with your ranged guys first. So I can level we go? him up as well and I'm going to just give him straight damage. Uh, I'm going to try to burn down the troll as fast as I can. So that's my goal. I'll assign you an order. Um, I'm gonna accept this quest. I don't think it's happening. There's no, there's no pigs in our starting area. It's gonna be quite a few turns before we deal with this troll. I'm gonna continue to postpone. Now I'm tempted, actually. Um, once once this guy moves out of the way, I might throw a like a melee resist on this guy and summon the troll, but just order him to constantly defend. Um, so the troll will keep attacking him. He'll have melee resistance, so he won't take too much damage Settlers. from the troll. But it'll kind of wear down the troll, so that, that's something to keep in mind. Let's see, where where do we want to build? If I build up, well, it doesn't really matter. I, actually, this is probably the better idea, because if it expands, I'll be able to build a harbor. So, that's what I'll go for. And, slowly but surely shutting down these wolves. I'm not going to have her attack, because... See, she's, she's losing because the guy's in a forest, so I'm going to let him come to me and just kind of wait there. I'll also continue to shoot, and now since he was kind of dumb and moved forward into the swamp, he's a goner. Um, Aim! Race! So this, this archer, archers level up very fast initially. Um, perceptive is interesting. It, it, one per turn will make a big difference if you if you basically have the unit around the whole game. Like, it can really add up over 100 turns. Um, but at the same time, like, honestly, you're almost better off going after, like, resistance to magic or to melee first, because the way to think about it is, yeah, uh, if I can keep this guy alive 100 turns, then yeah, Perceptive pays off. But keeping him alive is difficult early on, especially if you're getting, you know, dealt magic damage or melee, heavy melee damage. So I tend to go for endurance first. It's um, it's quite a handy spell. Good. The wolves did exactly what I wanted. Higher unit hunters again. In 20 turns, not gonna happen. Um, what this quest basically wants us to do is it wants us to, uh, postpone. I'm gonna have to do that every turn, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, what they want us to do is build a ranger's guild and get a ranger, but I have to wait for my save to grow. I don't really want to go after rangers early on, if ever, so, yeah, it's, it's just kind of a thing that I'm gonna pass on. Now, the reason why I'm building all these settlers is I believe they don't have much in the way of actual upkeep costs. I should confirm that. Oh, where? This is actually something I don't quite remember. Um, is it capital? No, that's your capital. It's it's this one. You click on the portrait and you know, that's your, your god circle. Um, hmm. Quest panel. It might be this. List of cities. No, uh, somewhere on. I'll figure it out. But somewhere on here, like, is the unit management tab. List of units. See, it's not showing. Uh, I'm trying to find the tab that shows like how much you lose. Okay, so there is some upkeep, but it's not old. It's just food. And actually, ooh, we're running low on food, so I'm actually gonna cancel that um, and not recruit any for now. Um, what, I, what I ought to do is I need a build As you wish. another city, so let's um let's get cracking on that. And once I get another city, cities produce a ton of food, so Oh I don't I can't build there, can I? I'll I'll build one here. The mountains kinda make that not a great location, but I do want the iron, so it is you just gotta deal with it. Um Okay, so I've unlocked another attempt to get a farm. Um 
think a wizard's guild will also be quite handy. How's with gold? Gold's okay. I, I want to get going on that mana production, so I'm going to go in and build a wizard's guild. And I'll handle the, the gold crisis that causes um, by building an extra little city. So, it's not that big of a deal. And we can take Fun go. <laughs> I like the road. Um, okay, so we got one more little critter camp to deal with, and yeah, we would have cleared out this map. So that, that's a pretty good steady pace. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. Where shall we go? And keep shooting the bear. No <laughs> escape for you. So I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, call it an episode. This, this was a pretty solid start, so I'm pleased. Anyway, um, when we get back, we'll deal with this troll and uh, see what lies beyond the portal. So, see you guys next time.